Hey guys, welcome to another episode of this series of Matthew. Today we're in chapter four. Follow along and I hope you enjoy. So chapter four continues right after Jesus' baptism. Now he's being led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Now as he was led by the Spirit, he did not invite temptation. It was at this moment he was going to contemplate his mission and his work that he was brought here to do. But Satan saw that he was tired and hungry after his 40 days and nights of fasting and picked this moment to tempt him. Satan came to Jesus at his weakest. Satan had seen this pattern before, where men and their strength would fail, then their willpower would fail, and then their faith in God would be non-existent. But here Jesus shows us that it's not just us, but it's through God that we can overcome these temptations. See, the first temptation was overcoming the lust of flesh. It wasn't a matter of refusing supernatural help. It was a matter of submitting to his Father's timing and his will for things. Just as Jesus knew and understood the scripture well enough to use it against Satan's accusations, so can we. The second temptation was the pride of life. And at times we're quick to believe and accept any scripture thrown at us. But it's important for us that we know the scriptures for ourselves so that we won't be tricked when it's used incorrectly. Jesus then replies using scripture, but unlike Satan, he applies it correctly. And finally, the last temptation was the lust of the eyes. As Satan continues to tempt Jesus, he knows that he's in a weakened state. But Jesus, knowing that there is power in the word of God, rebukes Satan, as it says in James 4, 7. Now after the temptations, the angels came and cared for Jesus and brought him back to health. Now, instead of going to Nazareth, Jesus dwelt in Capernaum because Nazareth, the city of his own hometown, rejected him and didn't want him to be there. So he went somewhere else to teach. Jesus then calls the first four. Now, back in those times, it was customary to have disciples. But with Jesus as their rabbi, this would be a teaching and education that no other disciple would have. After this, Jesus begins his ministry. He goes in to preach and teach and he lets the multitudes follow and surround him because he wants to teach the multitudes and not just impress them with his miracles. All right, that's it. Before we leave, here are today's questions. The first question is, what do you think the point was of Satan tempting Jesus? The next question is, what do you think was the reason for Jesus going on a 40 day fast? And lastly, think about a time when you may have been tempted how did you overcome it? Or what can you do now to overcome those temptations? All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.